Hi, this is Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ and in this video tutorial, I'll focus on the PayPal for Digital Goods plugin. This is the ideal plugin to sell digital goods such as ebooks and audio files directly from your WordPress website. As admin, you'll use a short code to generate a customizable PayPal button. Customers can then use this button to pay for digital goods in the instant PayPal Express checkout pop-up window. The benefits of this plugin include the fact that the customer does not need to leave your site to pay and they can begin downloading their item immediately after a successful transaction. To configure the settings of the PayPal for Digital Goods plugin, you'll need to obtain your Live and Sandbox client IDs from your PayPal account. We'll need to then copy these IDs to paste into the plugin settings. As you can see, to get your client IDs, you'll need to follow this link here to your PayPal account. You'll then need to log in. Once you've logged in, you'll need to create a REST API app by clicking the Create App button. Once you have created your app, you'll have access to a sandbox and live client ID. These are the apps that I've created, the PayPal for Digital Goods app down the bottom. So this screenshot shows that once you've created your REST API app, you'll have access to a sandbox and live client ID. So this screenshots of the live client ID, as you can see here, and it'll also show your PayPal account and the name of the app that you've created. So to continue to configure this plugin, you'll need to copy your live and your sandbox IDs. It is a good idea to save these into a text file in case you need them later on. So I'm now in my WordPress account. I'd like to show you how you can paste in your PayPal credentials. You'll need to click on Settings, PayPal for Digital Goods, and it'll bring you to this page. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll see PayPal credentials. So if you'd want to run your site in live mode, you'll need to check this box. It is then here under Live Client ID and Sandbox Client ID that you'll need to paste in the correct client IDs. I pasted my Live Client ID in this field and I've pasted my sandbox client ID in this field. So make sure you just save your changes once you've put them in. It's also on this page that you will select your currency code. I've gone with USD for this example and your button style. So I'm going with the checkout button. The button type um, will depict the shape. So you can do pill or rectangle. As you can see, when I go with rectangle, it's a bit more square on the edges. You can choose the button size. So I'll go with medium and you can select a button color. For this one, I'll go with gold. So now that we've configured the general settings for PayPal for digital goods, we can now move on to creating a digital item for sale. Before we go ahead and post the short code to a post or page, we'll first need to upload our digital file to our WordPress media library. So we'll go to media, add new. It's here that we'll just need to select our file. So you can sell an ebook, an audio file, video file, but for this example, I'm just going to be selling a simple digital wallpaper for someone's computer. So I'll go ahead, select file, and I'm just going to be selling a baking image. So I've simply uploaded that, and it's now in my media library. This is the URL that we'll later need to paste into the short code. So now I'll go ahead and I'll create a page, but just note you can also create a post. So add new, and I'll just give my page a title. So I've gone with cooking wallpaper image, and I'll also add a description. So now that I've added a title and a description, it's time to paste in the short code. The short code to create a checkout for your digital item can be found on the Tips and Tricks HQ PayPal for Digital Goods WordPress plugin page. Under creating the buy button, you'll see a short code, which can simply just be copied. Going back, I'll paste this one in, just ensure you're in text mode. So just simply paste that in. I've now pasted in the short code and I'll just need to customize it to make it my own. So firstly, I'll just change the name, my ebook to the name of the item I'll be selling. So it's cooking wallpaper image. Then I'll change the price to what I'd like to charge my customers to buy my digital wallpaper image. So I'm going to charge 9.95. 
And here's where I'll need to paste in the URL of my digital item. So here, I'll delete this one out. And then I'll need to open my media library in a new tab so I can copy this URL. So I've copied that and I'll just paste that one in. And I can also customize the button text, but for now I'll leave it as buy now. So that's all done and I can publish out this page. So I've published and I'll take a look at my new page cooking wallpaper image. It's got my description and it's got my checkout button. If a customer was to check out, they'd simply click this and they'd be sent to the PayPal login or they could pay with debit or credit card. So I'll just go back to my WordPress site and I'll just note a few things to you. So your URL of your digital item will be hidden to users. You can also add an image to your postal page, such as a thumbnail, that shows a sample of what they would be buying. This plugin is perfect to sell an array of digital items to your customers from your WordPress site. To watch a real life transaction take place using this plugin, please watch our next video. For any questions regarding this tutorial, please head over to our forum.